what's today? I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruelty-free YouTuber that talks a lot about makeup. And today it is time for yet another theme week and I don't know if I want to do this to my thing to do theme weeks. I have no idea but I have done some and I have been really enjoying them. So I think I will continue, try to continue to do these and I know that you appreciate them and that feels so good. So today, it's the first day. And I did ask you in, I think it was when I did the last video for my Shroud Week, which brand you wanted. Nobody said this brand, but now when I sit down to do my makeup, I'm like, okay, I want to do with this brand, so I'm doing it. And as you've seen in the title, it is Lunar Beauty. I got four palettes from Lunar Beauty and I think that four palettes is a good number of palettes to do theme week with. And I don't have all of their palettes. I have the Greek Goddess that I'm going to play with today that looks like this. Here I am. And then I also have the Strawberry Dream palette this one and my favorite palette from the brand that is Moonspell this I played with I've done quite a uh, quite many looks with this um, so this is a Moonspell the background is a little bit annoying maybe Moonspell and one of their newest palettes that is Eternal Eclipse this I haven't played with that much so yeah I'm going to do them in the order that I show you, showed you because I think it was that order that they came out. So <laughs> I'm going to start with the Greek Goddess. And this is a neutral palette. I think though it looks really, really beautiful. And uh, I think this would be a great everyday palette for me. I don't use makeup every day. I talk about this a lot, but I don't. So I'm going to do something with this today and I'm actually going to try to do something not that neutral. I think I'm going to use this blue one and this one on most of my crease and then take a light color in my inner corner. Because I just want to do <laughs> something that's maybe not super similar to the looks I've done with this before. Maybe I've only filmed one look with this before. I can't remember. So I think we just get started. Okay, now I actually start to think maybe Greek Goddess wasn't the first one. Maybe it was Strawberry Dreams. I know that the first one was um, Life's a Drag, but maybe the second one was Strawberry Dream. Should I look this up? But now I'm like super into do it with <laughs> <laughs> the Greek goddess, so I think I might just do it. Okay, do you know what? I actually don't care. If you do care, I'm sorry, but I don't. <laughs> so this is going to be just... Because this is kind of dark, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to take this one. Calippo? Calip? I want to say Calippo, but that is like an ice cream in Sweden. <laughs> And Nemesis on my lid, so take the dark one out here and then have this on the most of my lid. But it's, just, it's just a beautiful shimmer shades in this one. And I don't know what to use in my crease. Maybe I want to start with... Uh, this one. Maybe deepen it down a little bit with Aphrodite. I think I will do that. I don't have any deepening down brush. So <laughs> I hope that you will like this week. Even though uh, nobody said it like that they want to see it. Maybe. Like I I really like my palette from Luna Beauty. I think they are really good. And I love the blush palette they have. But it's not the brand that comes to my mind super often. And I don't know why. I don't know if people are a little bit like not the thrill about it because Manny that owns the brand has been, but it was a long time ago, 
in some shit storms. I don't know. But I think they do really fun palettes. Maybe not this is the most fun, but like the Strawberry, Strawberry Dream and the Moosewell palette. I think that even though they do palettes that are totally different, it still feels like the same brand. So I couldn't even download this one, Aphrodite. Aphrodite, I'm Aphrodite. Let's take a small blending brush, tap it off, and just take it out here. And I, I know that I have done a Get Red With Me with this palette. I don't know if I have done any more looks that I've filmed. I know that I've used it once when me and my boyfriend was going out to eat. And maybe... It could be two videos. I have actually no idea. The only thing that I can feel with this palette is I don't think it needs this many shades that it has, but... Yeah, doesn't bother me that much. So now I'm going in with this super dark. I hope it's super, super dark. I know that I have used it, but I can't remember. But I will take it just the outer corners of my eyes. We'll see how that go because I say that often it doesn't end up like that. I think it was good that I went in with another shade in my crease deep in town. I will go in with that a little bit again and just have a better blend. So far maybe not the most fun look. This is a really deep shade. I think that they are good at doing really deep shades. Like they are really pigmented and I have so much fallouts. <laughs> so much fallout. They are pretty dry so it likes as kind of much kick up but I don't do my base first so I often don't like doesn't bother me at all but maybe you should have that in mind if you are one of these crazy persons that do your base first I have never understood that like wouldn't you be afraid to mess up the base and maybe it's just me that is messy like it's super messy. It could be that. That is not impossible. Okay, I think this is a really cool and smoky look so far. But I will... It's like itches in my fingers. I like want to go in with this one here. Or this... This one. <laughs> but I think I actually will take this Nemesis. But do I? Yes. We'll see how this look. I haven't used this shade, so we will see. Maybe this is pretty dark as well. It is. This is going to be a smoky eye. I'm not complaining though, because that is like my favorite thing. As for right now, to do really dark and smoky eyes. Maybe it is a little bit darker than I imagine it to be. And then you know what, I could have swatched it and then I would have known how dark it would be. But swatching is not my thing. So uh, it didn't happen. Okay, I'm going in with... And the shade that I actually deepen normal crease with, I'm going in with it here. This was a stupid idea. 
But I didn't expect this to be this dark. Okay, I think with a really strong like inner corner highlight, this will look really good. This is so deep and I just love it. And you see this crazy amount of fallouts. <laughs> Oopsie. But like I feel I don't, I'm not careful at all when I do my eyes because I know that I can just easily wipe away the fallouts. <laughs> Maybe that is not good. I don't know, but that is how I think about it. So like, I'm just slapping everything on. I don't care how much that falls on my face. Even though I look kind of crazy right now, but... When you see me later, when I have done my base makeup, everything will be okay again. So okay, I really dig these eyes, so I'm going to take away the fallout, fix my base, and then I'm going to do the lower lash, and I'm going to put something hopefully really light and bright in my inner corners to lighten this look up a little bit, but so far, I'm loving this. The fallouts are gone, and the base is on. So, for my lower lash, I... I think I take this one that I had in my crease first and then take this one to deepen it down. So we will do that. Let's see how this will look. So I'm starting with a lighter shade. Taking it the whole way because the inner corner highlight I just really wanted like in the inner corner not on the lower lash and then I'm going with the darker shade just a little bit out of here and then for my inner corner I will go in with a pina this one and I'm not going to spray it or should I no. I'm taking a kind of bigger brush for this Oh, I do not need to spray this. So okay, I will put on mascara and the lipstick. I have one liquid lipstick from Lauren Beauty that is a red. And I actually think I will go with it. <laughs> we will see, but I'm like 98% sure of that. For my waterline, I took Colourpop's Overboard and I took Witch Bitch from Lauren Beauty on my lips. And I, I love this look. It's dark, it's smoky. I just love it. So, yeah, I did use the Greek Goddess and it was fun to do or to use this one, the Nemesis, and like really do a deep, deep look with this palette. I'm going to do a review on all the palettes in the last video. I think it will be like it has been in most of my theme weeks that I do a video with each of the palettes. And then I do a palette bingo, and then I do a review. I think I will do it. But as I can say now, and uh, to save maybe a little bit too, the bigger review is that I really like this palette, and I think it is versatile. I think you can do, and you can do this deep of a look, and you can do a lighter look, and. I think it's good shimmers in this one. I haven't used them all. I haven't used this one. This might be the one that I haven't used. But I think it is a good palette and I do like it. I think this one and the side by side from Nabla is my favorite more neutral palettes. Because I think you can do something light and <laughs> really easy and something like this. So yeah, that's all for this video. I really hope that you will like this Lunar Beauty Week. And tomorrow it's going to be the Strawberry Dream Palette. And uh, I don't know if I'm looking forward to it. This I actually looked forward to. Maybe that sounds strange, but I actually did. But tomorrow it's the Strawberry Dream. That looks like this. I have no idea. 
right now that I want to do. But I will figure something out. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my other videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!